Class, what is up? Welcome back to actually our last video for chapter 9, I believe. Um, this is 9.7 day 2. This is dilations. Um, and here we're focusing on dilation, dilations, excuse me, not on a coordinate plane, but um, a dilation with a center and a scale factor. And we have to use a compass and a ruler or a straight edge, okay? So what I want you guys to understand, if we think back, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. You don't have to follow me. But if you remember what we were doing, if I take a look at this example, remember what we were doing. If I wanted to double everything, well, this length that was originally back to down 1 became back 4 down 2. Okay, So I just doubled the length. So we're going to do that, the exact same thing conceptually, but now off of a coordinate plane where you don't have points, by points I mean coordinates for those points, and you have to use your compass and a straight edge. Okay, So what that is going to look like is this. It doesn't matter where you start, but you always draw a ray, and actually I should be more specific, you could draw a little a line, let me do this again, through the point that you are trying to dilate. Okay, So that is the first thing I'm going to do. I draw this line. Does that look straight? I think so. Okay. Um, I draw this line. And really, guys, it's as easy as this, especially when the scale factors are greater than 1. You're just going to understand that I need to get this distance from O to R. Okay. So I get it. And I draw a little arc. Because now what do I have to do? Well, if it says to double it, then I need to make another one. All right, and now I know that originally this was OR. This now is twice OR, right? This is O to R prime. All right, so again, the scale factor is 2, meaning I need to double the length. I need to put two of them, all right? And then we move on to the next point. So how about A? All right, extend. I think I might need to extend even further, so let me be really careful with this. Okay, so I extend, and then once again, I know that I need to double the length of OA. So, OA is from here to about here. I draw an arc, so I know that it's going through. And then again, this was 1 but I need two. I need a scale factor of two, so I double it by creating another one right there, and I call it A prime. And lastly, you guessed it, we do the exact same thing with T. So I draw or extend the ray slash line from my center of dilation, which is O, through point T, and then once again I need to double the length. So here, OT, sorry, I'm kind of covering up. All right, I draw that arc, and then I double it by making another one from the last intersection point. All right, and I now have T prime. The last thing that I need you guys to do, I need you to connect the dots, okay? Make sure everything that was in your original picture is in your old, or in your new one. So I had RA, which means I need R prime A prime, something like that. And I had AT, so I need A prime T prime. And I had TR, so I need T prime R prime. Now, that is what I am going to do. If you want to, you can you can sketch if you want, or you can color in, whatever you want to do to let me know. But notice what happened. My original grew. It expanded. It, there was an enlargement by a scale factor of 2. And really, guys, if you notice, it's the same exact shape, just what? Different size. Now, we are not going to do number 2 right now. But I want you to think through it right now. What's the only difference? Because now I have a scale factor of 3. Well, if I have a scale factor of 3, I'm not just going to... I wouldn't just double, right? I wouldn't need 2. I would need 3. 
because I need to triple the original. All right, so I just want you to understand that's how you do any of these enlargements. You take your scale factor, two, three, four, and you basically create that many. Okay, now the one that's a little tougher, and what we're going to work on now, is when we have a scale factor between zero and one, because we know that this will be a reduction. And again, this is just a little tougher. It's a little tougher. And the reason is, is because it's really easy with a compass to double a length. You can't really take half of a length just in one step, like directly with a compass. You're going to have to do something else from our constructions unit, and that should be a hint that maybe some of you guys are figuring out what we might need to do. So it starts the same, easy enough. I'm going to draw or extend, connect the dots from my center of dilation through the point that I would like to dilate. All right, so I drew CP. It really doesn't matter. You can extend it. What we're working with right now is this length, because what do we need to do? If we need to take a scale factor of half, we need to cut this distance in half. And guys, there's only one way I know how to do that, and that is to find the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so this might get a little messy, but if you remember back from chapter, or sorry, not a chapter number, our constructions unit, we have to make those footballs, or we have to use that step. So we go a little bit past half. I'm going to create my arc and an arc. Without changing my compass setting, I do the same thing from my other endpoint, P, arc, arc. Because now, when I create the line connecting these two points, what does it do? It directly, sorry, I should use blue here. This is C prime. What did it do? Remember, it directly cuts this in half. All right, so this these two segments are the exact, exact same. So for example, if this had been 10, well now it's 5 and 5. So isn't this half of my original? It sure is. So that is what you're going to have to do several times. All right. Um, this is not good. I guess I need a bigger ruler. Do I have one? Let me see. Sorry about this, guys. I will make sure that on a quiz or a test, I give you something that is manageable so that you don't have to um, worry too much, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, so again, I need to create this line from my point that I'm dilating to the center, and once again, it's the same exact thing. I need to go past half, so maybe something like this, and what do I do? I'm, I go arc, arc, I go arc, arc. And now I know that when I connect these two points together, something like that, well, this is the point I needed. This intersection point right here is halfway between A and P, and so I call this now a prime. It is an absolute coincidence that it went through B. Don't think that it's supposed to go through any of the original points like that. Okay? Now, the last one. This one I can go back to my smaller straight edge. What do I have to do? I have to connect the two points. Alright? So I connect the point that I'm dilating and then the center of dilation. And I use the same method. I go a little past half. Arc. Arc. Oh, bad, bad view by me. Sorry about that, guys. All right. And so now I see, and it's a little tough to see just based on what the points are, but... If I center 
and I extend a line through these two intersection points, I now know that B prime will go right there. And so when I go ahead and I connect my points, C, to, C prime to A prime, A prime to B prime, and B prime to C prime, what have I done? I've created a picture or a figure that is exactly the same shape, but different size. So this is my dilation and a reduction by a half. All right, so we will practice more of these in class. I can do another one of these. I know that this gets a little bit messy with all of the construction marks. I don't want you erasing, though. Remember, I like to see, and I, I know it's tough, but I'd like to see all of your marks so I know that you know the procedures properly. So we will practice some more of these in class, but hopefully these two get you a nice head start on understanding how to perform dilations not on the coordinate plane. Have a great day.